In the shadows of the military world, there exists multiple privatized groups of elite soldiers. They are not part of any official army or government, but rather operate behind the scenes, carrying out missions for the highest bidder, taking on operations deemed too dangerous or controversial for a normal government army to be involved in. Today we will look at five of these privatized military groups. First on our list is the Triple Canopy. Founded in 2003, they are a private security and risk management company based in the United States, best known for providing security services to government and private sector clients in high-risk locations around the world, including Iraq and Afghanistan. At the height of the Iraq War, Triple Canopy was one of the largest private security contractors in the country, with thousands of employees and a presence in multiple cities. The company provided a range of services, including security for government buildings and personnel, as well as logistics and transportation services. However, Triple Canopy's operations have not been without controversy. In 2007, the company was involved in a shooting incident in Baghdad's Green Zone that resulted in the deaths of two Iraqi civilians. The incident led to an investigation and several lawsuits, with Triple Canopy ultimately settling out of court. Despite the incident, Triple Canopy's reputation as a professional and reliable security provider has remained intact. Today, the company continues to provide security services to government and private sector clients in high-risk locations around the world. It is important to note that the use of private military groups like Triple Canopy is a contentious issue, with critics arguing that such groups lack accountability and oversight. However, opponents argue that private military companies can provide necessary security services in areas where government forces are unable to operate effectively. In any case, Triple Canopy remains a significant player in the private military industry and will likely continue to in the years to come. Next on our list is G4S, which is a British multinational security services company that operates in more than 90 countries around the world and is one of the largest security companies in the world providing a wide range of services, including security personnel, technology solutions, and risk management consulting. G4S has a long and controversial history, having been involved in several high-profile scandals in recent years. One of the most notable scandals occurred in 2012 when it was revealed that the company had overcharged the British government for the electronic tagging of criminals, leading to a loss of £109 million for taxpayers. Despite these controversies, G4S remains a major player in the private military industry. The company's services include providing security for major events such as the Olympic Games and the World Cup, as well as providing security personnel for governments and private companies. One of the most interesting aspects of G4S is its international operations. The company has a presence in some of the most dangerous and unstable regions in the world, including Iraq, Afghanistan, and Somalia. It has been accused of human rights violations and of using excessive force in these countries. Despite these controversies, G4S continues to be a major player in the private military industry. Its services are in high demand, especially in countries where the government lacks the resources to provide adequate security. Overall, G4S is a complex and controversial private military group that operates in some of the most dangerous regions in the world. Its actions have been the subject of much criticism, but it remains a major player in the industry. Third on our list is the Executive Outcomes. Founded in 1989, Executive Outcomes was a South African-based private military company that specialized in providing security and military training to governments and corporations in some of the most unstable regions of the world. The company was led by Eben Barlow, a former South African Special Forces operative, and Nick Du Toit, a former South African police officer. Together, they assembled a team of highly skilled and experienced soldiers, many of whom had served in South Africa's Special Forces units. Executive Outcomes quickly gained a reputation for being one of the most effective and professional private military groups in the world. They were hired to provide security and training to governments and corporations in countries such as Angola, Sierra Leone, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. However, Executive Outcomes' activities were not without controversy. The company was accused of human rights abuses, including the use of child soldiers and the killing of civilians. Additionally, their involvement in some of these countries' civil wars were criticized as being motivated by profit rather than a desire to bring stability and peace. Despite these criticisms, Executive Outcomes was able to achieve some notable successes. They were instrumental in helping the government of Angola to defeat the UNITA rebel group and restore peace to the country. They also played a key role in ending the civil war in Sierra Leone. In 1998, Executive Outcomes was forced to shut down due to political pressure and changing public opinion. 
However, many of the company's founders and operatives went on to work for other private military groups and continued to operate in the security and defense industry. As private military companies continue to play an increasingly prominent role in global security, the story of executive outcomes serves as a reminder of the complex and controversial nature of this industry. Number four on our list is the DINCORP, a private military contractor that has been in operation since 1946 and has been involved in a wide range of controversial and secretive operations around the globe. The company has been involved in everything from training security forces in Iraq and Afghanistan to providing logistical support to U.S. military operations in Somalia, Bosnia, and Kosovo. One of the most controversial aspects of DINCORP is its involvement in the drug trade. In the 1990s, the company was contracted to provide security for the Colombian government's anti-narcotics program. However, it was later revealed that DINCORP employees were involved in the drug trade themselves, and were even accused of facilitating the sale of illegal drugs to the very drug cartels they were supposed to be fighting. Another controversial aspect of DINCORP is its involvement in the trafficking of women. In the early 2000s, it was revealed that DINCORP employees were involved in the trafficking of women from Eastern Europe and the former Soviet Union, with some of the women being used as sex slaves. The company was also accused of failing to properly investigate and discipline employees who were involved in the trafficking. Despite these controversies, DINCORP continues to operate and secure contracts with governments and organizations around the world. Some argue that the company plays a vital role in providing security and support to military operations, while others argue that the company's actions have had a negative impact on the countries and communities where it operates. Last but not least on our list is the Blackwater Company. Founded in 1997, Blackwater quickly rose to prominence as a provider of security services to the U.S. government, particularly in the aftermath of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. But as the company's influence and power grew, so too did scrutiny of its operations and tactics. Blackwater was founded by former Navy SEAL Eric Prince, who envisioned the company as a way to provide specialized training and security services to government agencies and private clients. In the early days, Blackwater primarily focused on training and weapons instruction for law enforcement and military personnel. But as the war on terror began, Blackwater found itself in high demand from the U.S. government, particularly in Iraq and Afghanistan. The company's role in these conflicts was multifaceted. Blackwater contractors provided security for U.S. diplomats and government officials, as well as training and support for local security forces. But the company was also involved in combat operations, and its contractors were known for their aggressive tactics and willingness to use force. This aggressive approach led to a number of high-profile controversies and incidents. In 2007, Blackwater contractors were involved in a shooting in Baghdad's Nisor Square where 17 civilians were killed. The contractors were later charged with manslaughter and weapons violations, but were eventually acquitted. In addition to the Nisor Square incident, Blackwater was also criticized for its lack of oversight and accountability. The company was accused of operating outside the jurisdiction of U.S. and Iraqi law, and of engaging in illegal activities such as arms smuggling and money laundering. As a result of these controversies, the U.S. government began to distance itself from Blackwater, and the company's contracts in Iraq and Afghanistan were not renewed. The company changed its name to Z Services in 2009 and then to Academy in 2011. Despite the controversies, Blackwater played a significant role in the war on terror and in the shaping of the private military industry. The company's aggressive tactics and lack of oversight set a precedent for other private military groups and raised important questions about the use of private military contractors in war zones.